Good evening, the mighty mums. I hope you're having a great day today, Thursday. Today's daily revelation uh, number 84 is time for yourself. And especially as mums, and you probably uh, go all day and you wake up in the morning, you're looking after your kids and you're going, 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 you're doing life, you come back at night time, you're looking after kids, then you finally sit down and you're so tired, you can't do anything for yourself, so you go to bed and you repeat that cycle. So sometimes you can need to get into a habit of waking up earlier or being really strict and tr treating time to yourself uh, as if it was an appointment. Appointment with a doctor, uh, appointment with a friend, uh, a, a business meeting, whatever it is, treat it as if it was a really important uh, meeting uh, that it's a time for you to recharge, it's a time for you to restore yourself, it's a time, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, and start really small, okay? If you think, I have no time throughout my day, my day goes and all of a sudden uh, I feel so tired and then all of a sudden Sunday, and then I have anxiety that this whole week's gonna happen again. So if you need to wake up five to 10 minutes earlier and you might think, oh, I want that extra sleep, I need that extra sleep, but sometimes waking up that little bit early is the only time that you have to yourself uh, that you can control, whether that's meditation, whether that's writing your goals down, whether that's uh, just journaling, just things that, that you like to do that really recharges you, things that really helps you uh, set up for the day. And I say win the morning and you win the day. If you start the day and you're snoozing your alarm and all of a sudden you're going to work and you get into your day looking after your kids, uh, doing your daily chores, whatever it is, and then uh, you feel like everything's happening to you and not happening for you. When you wake up early in the morning, you set the standard, five to 10 minutes, okay? You might be really, really tired, but it's a time where you can control. You can control your mindset, you can control the thoughts that you're having throughout the day. And it's not like things are happening to you and you're being very reactive. You are being proactive with what you're doing. And the first thing you do is uh, setting a time in the morning, five to 10 minutes for yourself and you've done your first task of the day. And that's the most important. You've ticked that task off and just like making your bed is another task. Uh, you're more than likely gonna have momentum for the rest of the day. You're gonna have be more in control of your thoughts, your emotions, whatever it is throughout your day, rather than letting life happen to you. And you create this habit it's something that you can always go to when you're having a stressful day. It's a time that you can sit, hey, I need five to 10 minutes for myself, but you use it as productive. Okay, it might be meditation again. Okay, it might be journaling, calling a friend, watching a movie, whatever it is. You need to have time for yourself and you might think, I literally have no time. You need to make time and make it as important as, as looking after your kids, feeding your kids, whatever it is. You need to treat it like an appointment and you need to make it and know that uh, it's really gonna recharge you, restore you, and you might not feel like it, but just know that there's benefit benefit of having time to yourself and doing it consistently every single week, five to 10 minutes, the compound over that over the week, if you, you've spent an hour that you've had for yourself. And some of you don't even get 10 minutes over the week because you're always doing things for everyone else. It's time to put time aside for you. If you don't have five to 10 minutes, you need to make time. It's five to 10 minutes. No one is that busy, they don't have five to 10 minutes. So I hope that helps second day into the challenge. I hope you're pumped. Have a great night.